Hello, welcome back to the channel, and today's book will be Shocking Electricity. Let's start. Introduction, Shocking Electrical Power, Shocking Electrical Secrets. We are going to do until Shocking Electrical Power today, okay? Thank you. Introduction. Phew, it's the end of another day. How was your lesson on electricity? It was fine until someone woke me up. Oh, and an alien monster joined our class. That's nice, dear. Mind you, science is boring. Especially the science of electricity. That is shockingly boring. So the alien monster probably got bored out of his two tentacle brains. Okay, you see. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Let's pass these things. Let's start. Are your science lessons this bad? Just learning about electricity leaves you in shock? Well, if science makes you suffer, then reading this book can change your life. These pages are buzzing with shocking facts about, about electricity and humming with shocking stories, including the science who got struck by lightning, the surgeon science, who, the surgeon who gave an electric shock to a gore, glory human heart, and the science who had a man killed to win an argument. After a whole, who needs boring science when you have horrible science? So what are you waiting for? Why not plug in and switch over to the next page. <coughs> this book is guaranteed free from electrical failure. Er, uh, well, that is probably because it doesn't run on electricity, unlike lots of other things, like toasters and televisions and fans and fridges. Where would we be without electricity? Well, you could. Be on a horrible science holiday. Just take a look at this. Wow. This is horror towers. Oh, okay. There's no such electricity. So this is a disaster. Yep. Light without electricity sounds as much fun as cleaning toilet with a toothbrush. Well, what does, what do you actually know about this vital form of power? Heard any of these facts before? Four shocking facts about electricity. You can make electricity from farts. It is true by burning methane gas, finding some farts. You can make heat, which can be used for pa to power generators, make electricity. Methane is also found in rotting rubbish. And in the U.S., there are about 100 power stations based on rubbish tips that burn the gas. Lightning is a giant electrical spark. <coughs> one, one place that is safe from a lightning strike is inside a metal object like a car. The lightning runs through metal, but not through the air inside so if you avoid touching the metal yourself you're safe much safer than a sheltering in an outdoor toilet for example sometimes electrical power can surge when the power station pumps out too much electricity imagine a huge wave of power surging into your sockets <coughs> in 1999 People in the English village of Piddleston, yes, that's the name, were shocked when a power surge blew up their cookers and TVs. The biggest power cut in history in the Northeast U.S. in Ontario, Canada in 1965. 30 million people were plung plunged in to the darkness, but luckily only two were killed in the confusion. Now, 
you can test your knowledge further in this quick quiz. It's bound to spark your interest. Number one. Which of these machines doesn't need electricity to work? The toilet, the telephone, or the radio? Why is that the big thing of huge electric shock gets thrown through the air? No need to test this on family, pet, or frail elderly <laughs> teachers. A. The force of the electricity lifts them off the ground. B. The electric current runs through the nerve and makes the muscle just jerk violently so the victim leaps backwards. <coughs> C. Electricity reverses the force of gravity and makes the body weightless for a second. Okay, then number three, your teacher gets struck by lightning in the playground during the storm. Why is it dangerous to be in the playground at the same time? A, you might have to give your teacher the kiss of life. B, the playground will be wet from way, rain. The electric current from the lightning can spread through the wet surface and give you a nasty shock. C, the odd lightning turns playground puddles into dangerous superheated stream. A because well well A B C does need some electric things. B because well the muscles get a shock so the victim leaves. And C is the number three will be B because the water can spread and give a nasty shock. And but before you get stuck into these experiments, here's an important and interesting question: What on earth is electricity made actually made of? If you don't know, read on the answers in the next shocking chapter. But today I'll stop from here. Thank you for today's night. Thank you. Bye.